true. I, I think I think Arjun Arjun does get himself without some problems. Right. <laughs> it's quite okay. All right, folks, let's da, move on. Da, da. <laughs> when you're in a new relationship, it's easy to get caught up in the moment of bliss. But now that some time has passed, there are some questions you need to ask yourself. And here, with the tips to help you analyze if your partner is really the right one for you, counseling psychologist Andre Allen Casey, who Simone is not talking to. <laughs> they look like I'm here alone at the interview. <laughs> morning, my friend. Good morning. <laughs> I ain't mad at him. Because he was stoked to find So I won't. Um, Go ahead, sir. All right, so, you know, you, you, the, the chase is wonderful and... Uh, you reach the tape and you feel the greatest thing in life. Then what? <laughs> well, well, I think you kind of know. You see, it. one of the things, uh, sometimes, again, we come into the relationship with a lot of myth. And uh, we also come with ourselves, but also we come to change persons. And whenever those changes are not forthcoming, then sometimes we give up. Yeah. Um, you know, and the maybe myth, rightly the, so. The myth would be what? Well, that I can change you. You know, or, or, or better still, this is my expectation as it relates to the, to the outcome of the relationship. And so you should not, you should be this person for me as against how can I be a better person for the relationship. And so sometimes we think personal rather than think um, relationship. So what do I bring to the relationship as against saying this is what I want from you in the relationship. Yeah, all right, we have some specifics. Here, let's go through them. It is all about me. Yeah, that's which point. Is, which which is, is my point exactly. It's all about me. Said. That says, hey, um, if you can't make the adjustment to make me happy in the relationship, then I'm out of here. Um, and and I'm not saying anything is entirely wrong with that. Yes, because sometimes yeah. that is necessary. Okay. In, is very it much not? so, okay. indeed. All right. However, um, the question is, do I come to give or do I come to get? And a lot of times, whenever we come to relationships, we come primarily to get and not to give. Mm -hmm. And with that mindset, then you find that the relationship doesn't work. Um, so if you come to give and the person is not giving also, then maybe that relationship But it is should not be a little bit of both, though, shouldn't it? Yes. Well, you I, say, I if want it, to give, but I want to get too, don't Right. You? But it's, so in giving, you get. <laughs> That's what mm, I mean. Naturally. So, right. So in giving, you get. Yeah. So the, but the question is, what is it that I'm giving to you? So we need to have a vested interest in the other person. What is it that I can give to you where the person can feel comfortable and satisfied in that relationship as against, um, you know, somebody saying, what can you give to me? Okay. This right. notion of change that you mentioned before you step in, is it an unrealistic notion? Um, is it an unrealistic expectation that somebody, if they want to be in a relationship with you, would address issues of concern to you, especially if those issues are bad things yes. that they really ought to fix anyway. Yes, and, and uh, nothing is wrong in, in having a conversation with the person as it relates to, to bring about those changes. But there are two easy in which I remind folks to have. I said there's a difference between expressing and exposing. And so if you're coming to express how you feel about a particular issue, that's one thing. If, however, you're coming to expose the person, then that's another thing. Gotcha. And chances are you're not good for each other. Gotcha. Right. All right. Not interested in meeting um, the other family. Yeah. That, should, that is right. There's a red flag for safety. Of course. Well, if, if your family is here, is in the picture, so to speak, you come from somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> your values come from somewhere. Your ethics come from somewhere. From somewhere. And, and as a result of that, uh, you want to share your life now with this person in a total way. And if the person is saying that I don't have an interest or they have fear for, for in-laws, so to speak. And by the way, meeting the family don't, don't mean that I can get married to you tomorrow. Okay? It just means that, you see, the relationship has matured to a place where it is important for you to understand my context, understand my heritage. And of such, now I would like to introduce you to my family. Yeah, but that, if I meet her Monday, I do have to meet the family too, is eh? Right, that's what it I'm saying. Radical way. Right, very much so. So I understand that, you know, um, this can be from one month or 100 years. Yeah. <laughs> All, everything that we have right here. I think, I think the conversation at this point is about if you realize a relationship has promised and it's going right. somewhere right. and it's right. a natural progression that you would think right. that at some point you I would want to meet, meet the family. Right. Mm -hmm. And okay. the person says, I'm not interested. Yeah. Well, maybe that person is not for you. Yeah, negative. Um, terms and conditions. My terms, my conditions. Yeah. <laughs> Which is true. 
<laughs> then you just stay by yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which is oh, true, too. <laughs> jeez. Nev, is, do I say this true for you? <laughs> oh, jeez. No. All right. <laughs> <That's our point. laughs> Me? Fits of rage. See yeah. that, too. Fits of rage, you see. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's like, yeah. here it is that today you're happy. Um, tomorrow you, you, you behave as if to say, you know, um, you're the Incredible Hulk. Mm -hmm. And so my point is we need to recognize whenever these fits of rage are presenting themselves. And uh, whether or not you contribute to it, by the way, hello, whether or not you contribute to the fits of rage, if you find that a person is not exercising emotional intelligence mm. or does um, anger management, um, then the chances are this relationship is What's not for you. That's a brilliant point that you make because there are some people who think I caused it. Is me making... Yes. And, 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 and remember, you said the, 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 the abuser, you know, um, understand that the abuser will always blame you. Mm -hmm. So even when you have nothing to do with it. Part of the manipulation. They will, part of the manipulation, they will always seek to so blame Which was the next one, cycle mm -hmm. of abuse. Right. And, and this doesn't necessarily mean I lick me, I lick her down. Well, abuse. cycle of abuse speaks with what is called the tension building phase first, then you have the explosion phase, then the honeymoon phase. The tension building phase is, where, is the yelling, the name calling, um, again, the blaming. Yeah. And it's because of you why I'm this way and I can't help myself. The, the explosion phase, of course, is mm -hmm. when you bring harm to mm -hmm. the person. Mm -hmm. and, and then from there, the honeymoon phase mm -hmm. is say, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Never do it and, again. And I'll never do it again. And you make all these grand promises. But, uh, then but then the, hence, it's a cycle of, yep. of abuse. Yep. Yep. Wow. Little to no self-disclosure. Yeah. Always <laughs> hiding things. <laughs> Very, very cagey. You didn't know that you had a Secret Service agent. Yes, sir. Huh? <laughs> wow. Red flag. Yes. I don't think we need to say anything more than that, do you? <laughs> it's your face. Did Pers know personality that disorders. What personality disorder. To? That is, a, that is an interesting one. A lot of the times, you know, I invite folks to have personality screening. I am so sorry. I'm sorry, but... I'm at the phase and stage of my life where talking I about like psychometric stuff? Well, not necessarily oh. so psych, just a personality screening. Okay. Just to understand, um, you know, and we don't have time to get into it, but the, the, the sanguine, the choleric, the uh, melancholic, the, the, the phleg phlegmatic. You, go deep. you know, all I'm saying here is to understand where each person is because if you don't understand their context as to how they think and have conversations and receive information and, and what drives them, if we don't understand that, then a lot of times, um, you know, we have a conflict as far as the relationship is concerned. Okay. And if we have that conflict, then the relationship will not be mm -hmm. Last one says uh, seeking validation from you. Seeking validation from you. If you don't compliment me, it means that I feel ugly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you never tell me, say, you like me, sure. And, and, and I'm, yeah, from male to female, female to male, it doesn't matter. It's just everything about what you say to me to make me feel good. And I remind folks that you must have your own ink in your pen. Of course, <laughs> gotta love yourself first. I find, as we close, that relationships are a good thing. So initially, you get the butterflies, and then sometimes it feels like diarrhea. You know what I mean? It all starts on the engineer. <laughs> yes, can you give, when you go through that happiness phase, you feel so good, and then there's a time when it gets bad, you feel an actual physical pain in your stomach. I think if you're having that too often, then you know. Your gut is usually... It could be psychosomatic too. Your gut is usually right though. <laughs> you don't find? I'm just saying it could be psychosomatic, meaning how, because you believe it, it, it manifests itself mm -hmm. in, in how you feel but I'm saying your, your gut usually can tell you I think it's a good indicator. That's my testimony, at any rate. That's and it's not that I have diarrhea all no, the time. That, that, that's, <laughs> that's the reason we have people like Andre. <laughs> right. Well, to, you know, when all, the, it. when all is said and done, though, um, it is very important that we recognize and make proper assessments before we get yeah, overwhelmed in our relationship. Mm -hmm. I like, I like the uh, one ink um, in, in your pen. I like that. May I have my own ink and my pen. You have several pens with lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to see you, my friend. My pleasure. Always good to see you. Counseling psychologist. Uh, my on the, I'll <laughs>